In part 2 we're going to calculate the length AV here. So let's play with our 3D picture and draw a few lines in. Well, I'm just going to bring this AC back in because I'm going to need to have the base here if I'm going to deal with AV. All right, that goes directly underneath AV. And I'm going to draw a line, this line vertically in. I just need to get that on the edge there. And then we can colour in the triangle I'm going to look at. Right, why have I picked this triangle? Well, let's just see if we look directly from above. This is how we get our angles. We're going to look directly onto this plane. You've got to, the word, mathematical word for this is looking at the projection of this line onto this plane. So you can imagine a shadow coming from a long, long, long way away. So let's just zoom out and just move this a little bit. So imagine a light a long, long way above. Then what shadow would it cast on this line onto this plane? And that's what we'll be, we look at. So let's go back in again. So we're going to rotate that round. And you can imagine it by looking from above. So if you imagine by looking from above, you can see the line that this will cast onto that plane goes straight across from A to C, goes right underneath the vertex. And that therefore creates a, this shadow line here. And then if we drop that vertical down here, because it's a vertical and this is horizontal, we create a right angle triangle here. So that is how we find the angle between a line and a plane. So just always remember that. Remember that you're going to look at the line, look at the shadow it creates if you get a, a light from an infinite distance above that line, directly onto that plane. So you create a right angle when you drop a point, any point down in that line, if you drop it vertically straight down onto the plane, the shadow you cast all that from that line gives you the triangle, or at least the base of your triangle, and obviously you choose a point, here we're going to choose the vertex, to create the right angle. And that is what we're going to do in our question. So let's go ahead and do it. So we want to find the length AV. Well we found AC in the last question. Yeah, we found AC to be square root of 72. All right, we rounded that to 8.5 to two significant figures, but we want to use the accurate value all the way through our question. So, if AV, sorry, AC is 72 root square root of 72 even, then AX, this point here, is going to be the midpoint of that. So therefore, we're going to have square root of 72 divided by two. So, I'm going to be using the square root of 72, which was that value, divided by two as my base. Uh, they simplified it to root 3 times 2. Sorry, root 3 times square root of 2. Um, that's another lesson to tell you how to turn this into this, but for now we'll just accept that. Or you can use the decimal. Whatever it is, you can use the whole calculator answer. Again, we're going to use Pythagoras' theorem here. Uh, and once again, I just need to scroll myself some space so I can do the working. So let's put that in and label up our triangle. So C in Pythagoras' theorem is always the longest side and is always opposite the right angle and is always the longest side. We're going to call this side A. doesn't matter which way around you put A and B because they've just got to be either side of the right angle. We're going to have this as B. So let's write that in. So A is 5 so a, we're going to write down 5 squared to represent a squared plus now b uh, let's use this value here we've got here because it's on the screen so it makes it easy to follow square root of 72 over 2 now we want to square all of that so put brackets around that and square it and this will give us our c squared let's bring back our calculator now remember, this was the square root of 72 divided by 2. I did answer, divide, my, answer to my previous question, divided by 2. So we need now to square that. And we get a nice answer, 18. And 5 squared is 25, so add on your 25. And you get 43 for c squared. So therefore, the answer for AV 
is going to be the square root of 43. If you uh, did want to do the decimal value of that, answer that, um, we could just square root using our calculator and get the decimal value 6.5574 and so on. Two significant figures what we've got in the question, so we should round to that. So that would give us 6.5 as our two significant figures, but the third figure is 5, so we're going to have to round up. Okay, remember 5 more we round up, and you get 6.6 .6 would be your answer if you wanted to do it to two significant figures. So we would get 6.6 .6 if we rounded that to two significant figures.